PR, MU104 wall. We're situated midpoint between Matheron and Agalus, and we're going to be walking Cabaco. Starting point is here, Cabo de Cope. We can start this from Calabarina, which is the other side of this, which is Cabo de Cope, which is where we're going to be walking, walking on the PRMU 104 over the mountain to Calabarina. Right at the start of the walk is this little emitter, little old church, looking up to the hill. Just past the little church, you just have to come off this track and follow a coastal path, it's clearly marked there, left and right, over towards the mountain. We're only two minutes into this walk and already there's some lovely views down the coastline towards Matheron. Five minutes into the walk and we're just going to bear left over the dark side of the Cabo de Cope to a viewpoint of Mirador which is 0.7 kilometres down there. That's a bit cooler on the dark side. We're gently climbing all the time. Keep looking behind because there's some lovely views. I often get asked what the terrain is like underfoot on these walks. This one as you can see, not flat, not a track, a bit of rock climbing involved, but quite clear the direction you have to take. Some interesting cloud formations about this morning. So here we are back on the sunny side after 0.7 kilometres uphill and this gives us a lovely view, one of two viewpoints, I'll just take you to the other one in a minute. Right from the distance there is Matron, La Thoya is the planner, Don Nuevo, all the way around to Calico. Can on a pile of rocks. Marks the uh, top of the second viewpoint, which is about 100 metres further uphill from the first viewpoint. And again, fantastic views all the way around Calabadina, Bonuevo, Matheron, Isla Plana, right from the distance, Lothoy and Cabotonoso. Stunning views. At this point on the top, we now return back down the track for 0.7 kilometers and then going back on the main track to follow the path over to Calabadina. Be careful on this bit because this is the path down, very narrow and a sheer drop to the side. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, that's the uh, deviation of uh, 0.7 kilometers completed. We're back here to pick up the circular route over to Calabadina. This section takes you from the Torre de Cope, just in the distance, along this path which is a lot easier underfoot, along the base of the Cabo de Cope. It's sunny today. And then we follow the path over to Cabo de Arena in the distance. We've now been walking just over an hour, an hour and five minutes, and we're at the second deviation point. This one's a little 300 metre stretch out to a Mirador in the On distance. route to the Mirador at the top, we get our first view of Calabarina. Pretty little bay. Well, that was a 300 metre climb to the top. There's a little Torre Tower behind me. Somewhere else behind me is Calabarina. Lovely views up here, take a look. Hello Baldina, this beach ahead of us. We're going to go back down that 300 metre track now and then pick up the path again into town. So again we come back to this point and head off to Calabar Baldina behind me. Almost into Calabarina. Crystal clear sea. There we are. The bay, northern end, Calabardina in the distance. So here we are after an hour and a half along the PRMU 104. We're in Calabardina. You can make this a totally circular route 
by walking this road all the way around to Torre, which is 1.7 kilometers back. Or what I'm gonna do is go back along the base the way we come without the deviations. But before we return, let's have a little stroll around Calabadina. Starting with a walk along the prom. At the south end of the prom now, Calabadina, we're going to cross the bay to Cabacope, which we've just come round, and there's the promenade going along the sandy bay. Very quiet place, only two restaurants here, beachfront properties. I'm filming this in December, so it is very quiet. And lovely views across the bay to Cabacope. Sandy beach in front of us. Now we're at the north end of the bay and back across the beach. There's a tiny little pier here. It's uh, very picturesque in the summer with all the boats moored up. We're now going to take the uh, longer route on the base of the Cover Coke, which is about 2.3 kilometres, as opposed to the roadway back to our original start point. So we'll leave Calabarina behind us, walking across with Cover Coke behind me, to the sea the other side, and a Torre de Coke. So they don't know much about the Costa Calida coast. This is probably why it's so uncommercialised. The next civilization that way is Bonuevo, which is a good 30 kilometres. To the south, the next civilization is about 10 kilometres, which is Agalus. Always a good sign. Means we're on the right track. You can see the tower in the distance as our start and end point. So that was the Ruta de Senderismo, the MU PR 104. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, that's it, that's the end. We're back at the start, back at the Torre de Cabo behind me on the MR PU 104 route. Highlights for me were the two deviations. I don't see the point in making it a circle and coming back on the road, far better coming back at the base. And it's about a two and a half hour walk. Hope you enjoyed it.